This is a quick look at the DeWalt 12 inch 20 volt max brushless chainsaw, model DCCS620. Oh, yeah. I occasionally need a chainsaw for cutting up small logs that our tree guy kindly leaves behind for firewood. My first chainsaw. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, my local Home Depot had it on sale and I just couldn't resist. Not only is this a good option for weekend lumberjack wannabes like me, oh, yeah. but it's also a great option for folks invested in the 20 volt max platform. Also me. Better yet, there's no loud motor, no exhaust fumes, no mixing gas and oil, and it's easy to start. It'll just be me, my favorite flannel, and fresh air. Oh, and a little sawdust too. I have lots of batteries, so I purchased the bare tool only. It came with a low kickback 12 inch organ bar and chain and a scabbard. I was also happy to see that Home Depot carries replacement bars and chains as well. Here are the replacement model numbers just in case you need them. Nice. All right. Given its smaller size, I find this chainsaw very comfortable to use. It arrived perfectly set up, although I still went through all the instructions to be sure the bar and chain were attached properly under the bar adjusting locking knob and made sure the chain tension was adjusted properly with the chain tension knob. The chain should snap back when pulled an eighth of an inch from the bar. So once I added some bar and chain lube, not included, and strapped in a battery, it was ready to get to work. That's awesome. Oh, I should point out that the manual says the bar just locking knob should click, uh -huh. but mine didn't. And I went to the store and the display model didn't either. Wait a minute. So I contacted DeWalt Hello. and a rep said it's a common occurrence and the clicking isn't necessary for the bar and chain to be secure, as long as it's tight. Bar and chain oil goes in here and the filling reservoir has a fill gauge. Of course, it's oddly positioned and doesn't do much good since you have to fill the saw on its side. And remember water displacement theory, keep in mind, if you fill the reservoir to the top, you're gonna ooze oil everywhere when this plug is, is put back in. Oh man. The saw has an auto oiling system, but I'll talk about that briefly later. The bare tool weighs only nine pounds with a five amp hour battery and has a chain break, which must be forward for the saw to start. The chain break stops the chain quickly in case of kickback. There's a lock off lever and a trigger, which once depressed gets the saw running. And if you're like me and never owned a chainsaw because you typically use your reciprocating saw to cut up trees, um, no. the manual will school you in cutting techniques and lumberjack lingo. You'll learn how to properly hold the saw, which took some getting used to since I'm a lefty in a right-handed world. Uh -huh. And you'll become familiar with terms like limbing, bucking, and overbucking. <laughs> Maintenance is relatively easy. After a few hours of use, you remove the sprocket cover, guide bar, and chain to clean with a soft brush. And the manual talks about sharpening the chain and provides the file angles, but if you've got time for that, you're a better person than me. DeWalt recommends the chain be sharpened no more than four times before replacing it. And also be sure to flip the bar uh, when you put on a new or sharpened chain to extend the bar life. The tool comes with DeWalt's typical tool warranties. There's the 90 day money back guarantee. So if you cut down all the trees in your yard and then you decide you don't like it, Man. you can return it. There's also the one year free service and usual three year limited warranty. Let's see the tool in action. Just be kind. I'm a left-handed chainsaw rookie using a right-handed saw.
Let's listen to power under no load. Keep in mind, this is not a controlled test. After using the tool for a while, I have a few observations. Firstly, the tool requires a fair amount of juice. I'd recommend using nothing less than a 5 amp hour battery if you want to be productive. Secondly, while I didn't have the materials to test DeWalt's claim that you can get 90 cuts per charge on 4x4 pressure treated wood with a 5 amp hour battery, given I was cutting untreated 5x5 cedar posts and logs less than 10 inches in diameter, that's the max, I think 90 cuts is a stretch. The battery was draining pretty quickly. And thirdly, I noticed the auto oiling system kept the bar and chain well lubricated, although at times <laughs> oil was dripping out of it like a drooling puppy. Nothing says smoky toxic campfire like oily firewood. <laughs> And since this tool can drip oil even when it's off, be sure to empty the reservoir before storing the tool. To wrap up, while this is the first chainsaw I've owned, I found it less intimidating than any gas powered saw I've used. It was easy and comfortable to use, and it'll help me build my skills and confidence should I decide to eventually move on to a larger saw. Yeah. For its size, it provides decent power, and it got the job done, and well I might add. Excellent. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. It's awesome. It'll just be me, my favorite flannel, and fresh air.